with everyone today. Oh, you can't see my sign. I'm Jennifer. I'm with Voyu Digital and Social Media Marketing. <laughs> when will I get that right? You can't even see it. Okay, so I'm Jennifer and I am here to talk to house painters today. We've been talking a little bit about your marketing and your advertising and now I'd like to uh, discuss ways to incorporate what we've talked about into you know pieces so that you can take it out into the world and show off your stuff so what are some of the the things you've been doing so far you've probably been doing referrals and you've probably been painting for your neighbor and you've been painting for that neighbor next to them and you've been painting for your family and you've been painting for your friends and you've painted everybody's house and now, where do you turn? How do you bring in some more clients, more customers that want you to paint for them? Well, one is one really great one that I love is flyers. So I meant to show you my flyer today. Uh, maybe I can post it at the end. And and um, so flyers and brochures. Flyers and brochures are an awesome, inexpensive way to get your brand out there. So you print up a bunch of brochures, you print up a bunch of brand, uh, uh, flyers, and if you want, you could refer back to the advertising, writing for your advertising uh, post and video that I did that gives you some idea of how to bring all your content together and write well for that piece, what you should include in that piece. So you got your flyer and brochure written up and you've included some graphics and I don't know, maybe you printed up 500 today and you take an hour, you know, it's an inexpensive way to get out there, uh, to get your name out there. It's an ex inexpensive way to deliver those as well. You just take an hour off at lunch, after work, whatever, and you go house to house, business to business. I always say don't put it on somebody's house that has the no soliciting sign on it. Uh, there was a story um, a long time ago when I was starting out. I went door to door. I took flyers and if they had a no soliciting sign on their house, I did not put, put one of my flyers. And a gal came out one day and she was like, thank you. Thank you for not leaving your flyer. I've asked people not to do that. I have the no soliciting sign and she took my flyer and it was great. And you know, she didn't hire me, but maybe she gave it to somebody else that eventually did. Maybe she, you know, talked me up because she was so pleased that I had abided by what she wanted. So, you know, making people happy, right? No big deal. You go to the next house. So, Okay, flyers and brochures. And maybe you've been doing some of those already. Maybe you've only been doing a few at a time. So really bump that up and do a lot. Um, you know, maybe you can do 500 a week. Maybe you can do more. The more you put out, the more you'll bring in. So flyers and brochures are awesome. And you can always take those to meetings. You can have them in your car at any time. And when you have referrals that you've already... Um, painted their house and made that look amazing, you can leave some of those behind. They're great marketing materials to get your brand out and, you know, get it out there. Okay, so then lawn signs. Lawn signs are awesome. You might even be using those already too. But have you been uh, leaving it there while you go and work on the next house? Maybe you should have a three or four of those that you can keep in the mix. And when you're painting at a house, you know, you put it up. But then you leave it behind for a little while. I love to see signs of other contractors around town. I, I like to see the work as well. So it's right in front of the house that you're doing. It's proof that you're getting that you're making other people happy, you're proof that other people are enjoying your work. So I will come up to that sign and I will snap a picture of it. And there you go, I add that to, I have a file on my phone that I keep other contractors information on and I can always refer back as I need to. And it might not be for a year, but there it is. And that's how that works. So then you come back in a month, you pick that sign up, you take it to the next place or, Maybe you can even um, park it on a friend's or your mom's that you've painted a while ago while you're not using it um, currently. You know, just don't let it sit in the back of your truck. Put it out there where everybody can see it on a house you've done already. 
a friend's house. I'm sure they won't mind. Okay, so flyers and lawn, lawn signs, something you can be doing at the same time, right? Referrals, we've talked about these endlessly. Love referrals, one of the um, best ways to get new business. So now you've got those flyers and brochures that you can you know, pass out and, and exchange uh, and, and share with your referrals so they can share them with their people. So then there's also chamber groups. Business groups, have you considered joining any of these? If you're at that point, they can be really helpful. It's like expanding the community you've already painted for. <laughs> now these people all live in a house and a lot of them are gonna own. They might have businesses as well that need painting. This is a fantastic way to mingle with other people that need painters. This is also where your brochures and your flyers come into play. Always be bringing those with you. And maybe they even have like directories where they can list you. And a lot of people in those uh, types of groups, those business groups and community groups are gonna look to their own people first. They're gonna look in those directories and, and see who is uh, available to take care of what they need taken care of. I need a house painter, let's look here first. A lot of people do that. So that's a really great option to expand into. Then you have your website. Do you have your website? It doesn't have to be fancy. It doesn't have to be enormous, but you know, a few pages and some SEO going on there that can help when people are searching specifically for painter, house painters in your area, house painters with this skill. You know, we've talked about your target market. If you can work that in, that's going to be helpful. And when people start searching for, I don't know, ranch style house painters or beach location painters or, you know, I don't know, I'd have to do my own keyword research to be accurate as to what people are already searching for. But, you know, if you can whittle those into that, including your alt tags and your SEO and all that kind of stuff, it can start helping you get found easier and better. And then there's social media. Yay, social media. Uh, people are going to look for you, right? When you put up your sign in somebody's yard, they might not call you right away. They might look into you. They might go on Facebook, they might go on Instagram and see, are you real? Do you have a website? What are you doing? Are people liking you? Are you showing off the good stuff? Are you just kind of, do you have one post and nothing's happening? They might move on. They might, people go online to build a trust with somebody, get to know somebody before they invite them into their home get a little feel for if you guys are going to click and you're going to mesh and if you're, you know, that kind of person. So get out there. If you aren't on social media already, pick a few areas to um, talk about your good stuff, do some videos and, and make that connection with your customers. Can you hear those lawn guys back there? Should I go give them my card? <laughs> I might do that. <laughs> okay. See? Or should I give him my flyer? That might be helpful too. So where was I? Talking about social media and soon we're gonna talk about video too because that's really super important, right? We're all doing video, we love video and sometimes making the leap from just getting a photo up to putting up a video can be <sighs> trying to get your head around that. So thank you so much for coming by and, and talking with me today about how to get your your good stuff out there. So leave a comment. I love to hear if you have any questions or anything you want to talk about. Maybe you want me to talk about something else in the future. I'd love to give those ideas some life and subscribe, of course. And join me next time when we talk about more marketing for the house painter. Bye.